a final of destiny, divine intervention, or crazy coincidence, but one thing's for absolute certain, this is a match our dear friend and colleague Willie Lossay would have given everything to be a part of. Well, rugby lost big Jordan Willie Stanley Gemma, here in Cape Town back in September, a man who loved the game and giving voice to the Pacific, and he'll be forever missed on the World Series, our one and only captain, fantastic. Time now for two of his all-time favourites, New Zealand, the Samoa, and the big one in Cape Town. The rain just keeps hammering down. Carl Tanana, Geordie Way, the man in charge. Does it favour each of these sides or either of these two sides? Oh man, I just I think it's a level. It's no doubt. So whatever team can be more accurate in the contact area will have an advantage. Samoa so good in their win against the Blitz Box earlier good, today. Man. They just oh. slammed and good. smashed their way Come on. to victory against the hosts. Up against a team who did it the hard way themselves against the USA. We are moving in Cape Town. It is New Zealand who sends it deep into the Samoa 22. Handling is going to be incredibly tricky across the next 14 minutes of play. Just started bucketing down around about 20 minutes back, and there's a look at how hard it's going to be to get to the outsides, Carl Tanana, as Maliko goes to touch. Yeah, Maliko normally patrols that side, and he's so good at stepping in and keeping in field, but because it's so treacherous at the moment, hard to get his foot in the ground and stay in good defense from New Zealand. Oh, that's face. This will be interesting, the first throw, and it'll be very tough. A rock, he still would have hit his mark here, Sammy Dixon. Dixon. As he's done all weekend long, pulls it down easily, and they'll go midfield. It's Rush sending it through the centre. Taken on by Cook Savage. Nashu using his feet and jumping over the tackle there of Falanico, who was the hero late in that win against the Blitz Box. New Zealand getting through their work nicely here, but it's been lost, and the call will be penalty against Samoa. Yeah, I think it was just a late shot. On Brady Rush and turning Nash, she was down on the far side of the field for New Zealand, so we'll just hold play up just a little bit. And that's Marsh who was jumping into that tackle, and there is the high corner view of just how heavy this rain is tumbling down, and this will hurt. The New Zealand camp. What's Kite Lake Law's play from here, KT? Well, they bring on Amanaki Bakol, who normally comes on in the second half and okay, replaces Tony Nashu. Nashu, the physical tempo. 
of this All Black Sevens team, especially this very here? tough to stop on the edge. Go on. Even harder in his condition, but Amanaki yeah. Nicole gets an opportunity in the final. He carries heavy as well. That's a good chance to say good morning to those of you watching on down in New Zealand via Sky Sports. I've been over in Samoa as well. It's great to have you currently from Cape Town where <clears throat> the rain started out heavy and has gone torrential on us. We just have to be adaptable. That's the game of Sevens. Oh, we 25, 30 degree heat and now we've got pouring rain. It's still humid though. So whoever, whoever can adapt to these conditions most will have an advantage. Rock of Sower. Slapped away and stolen by Samoa. Back by blue. To take this from inside their ingle. Stop, 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 sneak the stop, kick away. Out of it. And the chase is decent as well. That's a clever play from Samoa. And they put the shot on Nicole. Dixon sending it away for the hot stepping Rocco Lasoa. Happy to put it through the hands. And now they realign. Dixon under pressure. Away for Nicole. Samoa coming on the slide, out wide is Clark, Clark extending, Clark shaping a pass, did he catch the touchline? No, and Samoa dive all over it. Don't collapse him! Here's Maliko, with a hit and hope, he gives chase, makes a good grab initially, he stops the dangerous Regan Ware. Leo, touch isolated, they get there late, and now Samoa slide through to each other. To each other, sat down there by Rush. Here it is for New Zealand, Rocco Sola, that's gone forward, has it? Yeah, that'll be the call, and even Geordie Way pulls up, not at 100. And it's all going a touch pear-shaped at the moment what in a, Cape Town. Yeah, I don't think he's good at all, Geordie Way. Tom, please. Oh man. Thank you. Uh, is it a cramp or is it ah, look like something else. serious like a pull? Hopefully he's Please okay, but doesn't yeah. look good at all. Please. She's my ankle. Can you strap it? Yeah. Please. He's in all sorts, Shorty Waits. What? It's worth noting. AJ, hey, if you need to, How? you'll be going on as referee. Oh. How fit these referees are on the HSBC Sevens World Series. Yeah, want to come off. Comes up. Oh, he's just pointing at his left ankle, just a high ankle sprain. We talk about the toughness of fatigue of the players, no, no, but the referees are under extreme no, 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 no. pressure as well. He's like, no, 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 I don't want to stretch a chin. Leave me here. I'll walk it out if I have to. Well, it means a lot, not only for the players, but the referees yeah, for a I'm tough final. Commentators as well. We'll see how long he lasts. Geordie Way is the referee is trying to shakes her head and says, Geordie, you crazy? Get you in for an early shower. He does. Holding steady till the ball's in. Not want that. He wants to be in the middle of it. It's been a bruising start as expected. Yeah, watch out for the kick. Oh, Samuel have already done it twice. They've been stuck in this end of the field for Crouch. the majority of this first half. I think they go there again. Bye! There and spun away by Samoa, and they do as predicted by Carl Tadano. The contact is excellent as well, and they get it up over halfway from Falanico. And again, Samoa will be happy just to hit and drop blokes. Any room for New Zealand far side through the rain? No, not first up. They get towards halfway. Rush trying to ignite the back line. Samoa keeping their shape nicely in defence. We're starting to pull up in the middle now. And Samoa, as they in the cup semi final, win a crucial breakdown penalty, and off they go. Samoa, there is Slater ducking under a high one, and they might just kick the touch here and get it close. And no, they want to off and run. They've got the ball inside the New Zealand half for the first time in this matchup. Here's a little chip and chase from Maliko. He can't hold his feet and it's taken back in goal, is it there, KT? It is. 100%. Oh, we'll have a five-meter scrum for Samoa. Big oh, result. Yeah. I like it, though. A very effective edit. Will it be the little chip kicking behind? The long kick? 
Well, I don't think he's good to go here, Geordie Way. I think he tried to guts it out, but he's going to have to just be replaced. That's a shame for him. Especially when you're not expecting a two taking that hit. It's been such an energy driven weekend. It's three days on the spin. It's tough going. The conditions have been sapping as well from minute one on day one. Yeah, what will happen? I think the reserve referee will come to the assistant re referee position and the assistant referee will come on because it's already part of the game and be referee in the middle now. Guys, just get uh, one of the number four or fives to run touch for the next couple of minutes, and then we'll have to just do it at half time. Yeah, AJ Jacobs is the one that's been the given the call up. from the side. Oh, I'm going back. You and I have been doing this for a long time now together, Carlton. I can't remember a, a cup final like this. I can't remember a game like it where we had such a deluge before kickoff, then we lost the ref through three minutes. 2000 in Brisbane, I think I was playing in that one. That's that long ago. Is it? Yeah. Well, and we got smashed by Australia, just for your information. Yeah. Peter Miller. So I knew the answer. I was just leading you to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, some old now. It would be an incredible way for them to open their cup final shot if they can find a way it? over here. Slater coming yeah. midfield to oh, Palanico. Just so it. hard to move on the slippery yeah. deck. Got the penalty advantage here though, Samoa. Can they take it? Maluko, the captain. Maluko almost getting round the outside. He loses possession. Will come back. Centre field. Carlton. Anna. I mean, do you take three here? You've captain New Zealand. You've played in a game like this. Do you take three maybe here? No, you have tap. I think they've got New Zealand under pressure here. It'll be massive for their confidence. They can score. Okay, let's see. What can they conjure up? They come away through the slot. They're five away. We've got another penalty advantage. There's some room there as well for yeah, Falaniko. He'll tap. He'll run. And he should score. He does. He slides it in and takes his team up by five. What do you think about for the majority of this first half? They've been stuck in their own quarter. Five metres out from no try line for the majority. They use the kick to get downtown. They're back to the fence. They put New Zealand behind on their heels. And then the pressure come on New Zealand. A little discipline cost them that three penalties in a row. And they slide in. That's massive for the money somewhat. There's good patience from Falaniko. He's having a Sunday to remember in Cape Town. Oh, no. That one catches the crossbar. But... Falonika was the man who stepped up and went whack in extra time against South Africa to put them in this cup final. Up by five. And we've got 30 seconds to run in this first half. That's a well-weighted restart as well. New Zealand will do it tough coming away from their red zone. Leo. There's one sending it over towards Dixon. And a good feet and the slide and the pop from Rokulasoa. There are three blue jerseys there to collect him. And they come wading through the breakdown. Fighting is Le Tufia. It's been stolen away here by Samoa. This could be a crucial moment coming here. It's still live. Samoa with numbers to burn wide right. They send it that way now. Was a pass okay? They'll say it was Will they? There's so much indecision out in the middle. To Atama plays it on. He scores it, but I think they're calling it back. They say no try. Yeah, I think it's correct. Or Falanika was the one under duress. You watch it here. The read by Brady Rush. Watch where that green line is. Oh, geez. On that replay, I'm unsure. I think it's just that he's come the other side, KT, rather than going left, right, he's gone right, left on the backhand, and it's it's created an illusion of sorts. And at the break, in our cup final, 
It is Samoa leading New Zealand by five. AJ, can you hear me, TMO? AJ, TMO, can you hear me? Hi. Uh, yes, Boris, can you hear me? Yeah, AJ, loud and clear. A Samoa try against New Zealand. They are up by five. Midfield now for Rockula Soa. So much experience in this. All Black Sevens outfit. And speaking of, there is Dixon getting it work, up towards work. the 22. Rockula Soa. Sitting at high. Tough one for Cook Savage to get through. Scored his maiden series try earlier today against the USA. Okay, New Zealand finally getting a chance to get it to the edges. Great ball in field from Rush. Now for Dixon. Under pressure though, in goes the hitman, Arthur Sua. He hasn't Stay. missed all weekend long. He's been tenderizing all the way through. Here we go, Samoa with a turnover. Or penalty. The initial call, the Three. ball was out. Yeah, I think you've got a call from the assistant referee there, AJ Jacob. Samoa. Just wait. Why, why? I just want to stop why? that. Putting on the physicality of New Zealand at the moment. New Zealand not wanting to kick. Brady Rush comes over the top and splashes down. New Zealand had numbers there. Can we go, please? Just one thing to do. Let's go. Subs, time off. So New Zealand get the penalty after. Time all back one. That. Let's go. It's interesting too, Samoa, one of the only teams on the circuit to employ a sweeper in behind, so only six up for Samoa. It's so hard to get the ball out wide and take advantage of that extra man in attack. It's a tactic that Samoa have employed really well themselves, kicking in behind and giving chase, and here they are hunting down and making the stop right on the New Zealand 22. There goes Slater. Making yet another tackle. Has led his team this weekend on that front. Cross field from Cook Savage. Here's some pace on the outside. The ball away's good too. New Zealand should be able to take this away. They should be able to level it up. And they should go in front. This kid finally getting some consistent game time in the sixth jersey. Brady Rush, he has got an engine, that's for sure. You can see he just bites down on that mouth guard. He knows how important it is and how important it is to put it down underneath the horns. This 
to hit the front and time off. Conversion is good. The boot of Cook Savage, so he's just holding it. Got a player oh, leading yeah. by two. And you're one of their power players. I'm a knocking you cold. Fell down awkwardly in the last passage of play, so turning our shoot. And I'm a knocking you cold. Two power players are gone for the rest of this final. Needs another four and player. Minutes is an age. Oh, there he is. So a couple of young pubs are going to have to step up here, I think. And Jersey 23, Lewis Orman has come on for NZ. Time back on. He's been such a physical and bruising knock him down battle. So far, that's a well weighted restart from New Zealand. And Samoa will plug it in behind and give Chase a sweep his back, though. And then they send a wild pass out the back. Samoa piling in, looking for the turnover. This space short side. If Dixon wants to go that way, and that's where he comes. Almost better off without ball for large parts of this game. Just get it down the other end. Try and force a penalty and go away with it. In that fashion. Samoa, this one's skewing right. Oh, that is a long way, the wrong way. For Samoa off the boot of Tuitama. Oh, that's a mistake, unfortunately. It was the right idea. Took it back into 22. So he kicked it out on the full. So it come all the way back. But you're right, Sean. I agree with you. It's better to have... The defense rather than having ball in the hand, both teams getting very tactical now. Time off. Some old coach by a legend in their rugby ranks in the form of Brian Lima. It's Clark Laidlaw shot calling for New Zealand. Time back on. Both teams looking to climb the series ladder with a win here. They sit at the top. Rockwell Sower under pressure. The front is picked off. Stolen away by Samoa. New Zealand fly through though. It's scrappy. Dixon taps away. And all of a sudden there's some room out to the right for New Zealand. That's the way they head. Tongue and towel. Lost there by New Zealand. Samoa kept themselves Thank you. well and Thank truly. You. In the cup final with that play. Knock on. Oh, desperations on both sides of the ball. Time off. Samoa doing some fantastic work, Number one. work on those wide channels. Number one. I was happy. They've no. just gone through the hands of drawn pass. They created the overlap New Zealand. Roger Sola, he's been fantastic coming off the bench. He's going to be asked to just take your medicine, aim up here. It's a final. Is it same again here, KT? We just go crazy here we go. kick it as far as you can. Will they do it? That is the question. I think they're one of the better teams at Time doing it. I would oh, turn New Zealand around. It's only a two point Coach. difference. Back your defense a long, long time ago, two and a half point. minutes. Sit. The strike's good, Samoa. Well, they'll put it in front of their own post initially, and now they come with weird. Back. Dangerous stuff. It's gone backwards, though. Still under pressure. They down to that touchline, and they have in possession back. Off your feet there. Wow. Stay up. That will help. What are they thinking? Now they tap. They'll go with again, Samoa. Trying around what is essentially a piece of soap in front. At their own post, good work with the pick and reload. Far side there, New Zealand fighting at the breakdown. Samoa, oh, trouble here, surely. The rush there misses the shot. The target's been evaded, and Samoa will tow it ahead. Out in pursuit is Tuatama. Back is Tonga Tau. Tuatama, clever with that play. Tuatama now, surely with a seal, surely with a penalty. Yes, there's the call. Samoa tapping and going, they just need to put through the hands across to the left. Samoa! From their own try line, they've taken it. The full 100, and they've taken themselves to a three point lead. But it was back with a Dixon, great work, only two metres out from the 
try line. It was a turnover and a steal at the breakdown. And there's the fancy finish from Maleko. He's been absolutely outstanding, bringing the heat all weekend long. Well, he's a HSBC Dream Team nominee, I think, with that play. They were well and truly being secured inside the starting seven. They've just got to defend now for 35 seconds. And the back to defence all weekend long. I'm sure Brian Lee Martin would be saying, kick it long, force New Zealand to run 95 metres if they want to win this cup final. Let's go. Samal cleverly. Go long. New Zealand. It's almost last chance time. They've got five seconds to go. Samal, that will be enough, will it? I keep going through my little hard to stop. No advantage. Come down. We've still got one final play, we've still got one scrum. And I can tell you where it's headed, Kaltanana. Let's go! They'll pack it and they'll send it Come towards down. the water from KT. The players are coming onto the field as a New Zealand player down. You can see there, I put it, Maliko just saying, we're still going to finish this out. Make sure you don't slip now. This will be huge for Samoa. The last time they lifted the major prize at a series tournament was way back in 2016 in Paris where they came back from the dead against Fiji. One strike away here. From the first major prize in six years, Samoa! the champions in South Africa! And it's time to party! Well, Ken Laban...